What's good everybody? Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022. I figured I'd kick off the channel this year by showing you what my rig filmmaking setup is going to be for 2022. Now what you see right here is my A7S III fully rigged out. I'm going to have everything linked in the description box below so you can see all the pieces and everything I've used to make this rig. However, this rig is really going to be for my A7 IV, which I'm filming this video with right now. The only thing that's going to change from what you see right here is the actual cage itself. The A7 IV is just a little bit thicker than the A7S III, but everything else is interchangeable and I'm going to be able to use all these parts on both the cages for my A7S III and my A7 IV. So on a given day, if I'm doing more of a hybrid kind of shoot, I'll take my A7 IV. If I just need something just for low light situations, or I just want an overall full frame 4K60, full frame 4K 120, I'll be rigging on my A7S III. But most likely I'm gonna be using my A7 IV for the majority of my shoots this year, just given the fact that I'm able to do photography and videography at a high level, given that it does have 33 megapixels. First things first is the cage itself. I went with Tilta. The Tilta Ink Pro Kit cage, I believe. This is what is on my A7S III. I already pre ordered the A7 IV cage from Tilta. Should be coming in a few weeks. The reason I love this cage from Tilta is just that it's such a robust cage. I used to use the small rig cage and nothing against that um, brand or their products. I still have some of their products here. However, I think their cage for the A7S III is just a little bit more flimsy in my opinion. It's not as secure. It's definitely not as durable and heavy duty as this one is. And this one just has more mounting options. And for the price, if you go with the Pro Kit cage um, from Tilta, you end up getting a lot more for bang for your buck compared to just getting piece by piece from a small rig, even if you get like their Pro A7S III cage that they eventually came out with um, later last year. So above my cage, as you can see right here, I have my top handle also from Tilta and it comes with the Pro Kit. Again, you get a bang for your buck if you go with that Pro Kit option. And this handle is just so comfortable. It has some nice grooves right here under the top handle, which allow you to comfortably place your hand, hold it for a long period of time without getting fatigued or your grip just kind of giving out. If you go with on a, a cheap handle, uh, especially the one that I had from Small Rig, it doesn't have any grooves, it's very flat. And they're also a lot shorter, so you don't have enough room to rig out your top handle and also be able to still comfortably place your hand. As you can see, I'm able to have my whole fist on here and I still have some room for my two fingers right here in between these two attachments that I have on the cage itself. I'll talk about this little ring that I have here at the end of this video. But as you can see right here, I have this very cheap uh, monitor mount that I, I'll link below what it actually came with. But the monitor mounts that I've tried from different companies, for some reason, they're not really able to support this monitor right here that well and if you have any suggestions please leave them in the comment section below because i'm just looking for the best monitor mount possible but on top of my monitor mount i have my atomos shinobi 7 inch this has 2200 nits it's extremely bright you're able to see your image in a bright given day with no problem at all it has two sdi ports it has two hdmi ports and it's powered by two sony um batteries overall when you have the two batteries and the monitor it's about two pounds so it adds some good amount of weight to your handheld rig so you can get really stable shots and have it all the way over here so my rig can be really well balanced. As you can see, if I hold it like this, it's not flapping forward. So my, my rig is pretty well balanced weight wise and I'm able to get super smooth buttery shots handheld, which I shoot primarily most of my videos in. Moving on to the side right here on the left, I have another handle, which is also from Tilta. It comes with the Pro Kit. Again, bang for your buck. That's all we're talking about in this video, but it's a great adjustable side handle, which depending on the position that I'm in filming handheld or if I'm going really low for a, for a high uh, shot or if I'm just following a little kid who's a little bit shorter, I'm able to really adjust it and keep my wrist in a comfortable position, not really straining my wrist at all. And just giving me another um, mounting point to really keep my rig nice and stable and you know keep it like this if I need to get some panning shots really smoothly. On top of that as you can see I have my DDD3 Pro with the top cat that it comes with. I love the shotgun mic. I think it does such a great job with the variable decibels that you can adjust right here. I'm also always putting it on a boom pole if I want to just connect it with my Rode Wireless Go 2 and do a wireless boom system. Really versatile microphone. Again I have it on top of my side handle which in seconds 
I'm able to just take off. And now if I don't need that side handle, I can just go like this. <laughs> but I'm able to just use my camera and my rig just like this if I don't need the sand for, for any given reason. Now, if we're looking at the front right here, as you can see, I do have a matte box. This is from Small Rig, so I'm not a Small Rig hater. It's a lightweight matte box, 2660. I love this matte box. It's lightweight, it's carbon fiber. And I think for the price, if I were to break this, it wouldn't crush my soul. Uh, I'd be able to replace it very really easily. Um, I think for what it does for me is the fact that I'm able to screw on filters on my lens. Other matte boxes, you're forced to use the four and a half uh, by five filters, or even if you go with like Polar Pro uh, or even the Tilta, like new one that they came out with, you have to use a proprietary filter. So you're not able to use all the filters that you've already purchased or acquired through your, your time of filmmaking. So for me, I'm pretty content with just using this and screwing on my filters that I have. Now for the main lens right here, as you can see, I do have a zoom lens. It's the 24-70 G Master by Sony. It's pretty much what I shoot 90% of my videos with. It has just incredible focal length. It has stabilization. Autofocus with the A7S3 or the A7IV is second to none. And also it just has a good amount of weight, so it gives me that steady shot that I'm looking for um, when I'm shooting handheld. And so I'm just able to put an easy screw on filter to the top of the lens and then I'm able to just put on my matte box fairly easily within seconds. So there's that. And then as you can see, I can just, you know, take all of this apart very easily. The matte box comes off in seconds. Uh, the top handle right here, if I need to screw it off, it's a NATO rail as well. So that's off already. Uh, I'm not wasting any time as you can see. So I'm able to just easily just configure this to even a smaller tighter option if i want to go handheld or mount this on a gimbal i can do this within seconds um, as you can see on the bottom of my cage i have these rods so they're 15 millimeter rods so i can mount like a lens support or just other accessories but also i have the quick release system that comes with the tilted cage again you get a lot for that price if you buy the tilted cage so with a press of a little lever right here i'm able to slide it off i can leave this on my tripod fairly easily and then in seconds, I'm handheld completely, or I can easily just slide this onto my gimbal if I have the quick release plate on my RS2. And within seconds, I'm handheld, as you can see with this rig right here, and then boom, I'm on a gimbal. So to me, this functionality works extremely well. It compact, it's all compact, it fits in a bag. I'm not worried about, do I need to bring a ton of accessories? And again, I film primarily handheld, so I found that this is the best balance of weight. Um, for I'm not being fatigued for the end of the day and also I have everything that I need a zoom lens I have my a7 IV my a7 is 3 so I have the amazing autofocus where I don't need a focus puller if I don't need one Now I did mention at the beginning of the video that I would tell you what this metal ring is for right here It's a three-quarter mount that goes on top of my tilt the top handle. Okay, everybody as you can see I have my easy rig mini max on me now and i just recently invested into this mini max i'm very excited to use it just because it's going to allow me to shoot for longer periods of time standing up handheld and not be exhausted or or just completely demolished by the end of the day um if you don't have one of these you're essentially not going to be able to keep up with the exhaustion from holding a rig 10 15 pounds plus it's just going to catch up to you just because of gravity and the way <laughs> our faces are designed however with an easy rig like this it just takes off the weight off your upper back and shoulders and hands and distributes it totally through your body so that's what this ring right here is for it's a three-quarter mount and screws on my top handle from my tilta and then all i gotta do is grab this carabiner and just within seconds i now have it attached to my easy rig mini max and then i can just drop it and it stays perfectly aligned so i'm able to stand here get super extremely smooth shots um handheld with the easy rig now again, I don't have any weight on me. It's almost incredible how this technology works from Easy Rig. So now I'm able to do mini docs. I'm able to do short films. I'm possibly doing my first feature film at the end of the year. I hope that goes through. And this is just an investment that I couldn't pass up on, especially because I'm not the biggest gimbal user. Uh, I know there's a lot of people who swear by a gimbal. It's just not my thing. Um, I definitely want to practice it more this year. I don't want to just write it off. But as of now, I'm definitely more of a handheld setup type of person. And that's why I have this rig setup that I showed you today. So this carabiner right here that hooks onto this three quarter hook is from Kong and it's a frog carabiner. I'm able to just, you know, press these levers and then the easy rig goes back to its place and then I'm handheld all over again without the easy rig. So there you have it. That is my handheld cinema filmmaking setup for my a7 IV or my a7S III, whatever you want to call it. All the parts 
of this setup will be linked in the description box below. If you have any questions about the setup, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't, hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, it really helps out the channel. So thank you everybody. More filmmaking type videos are coming in this year. I'm really gonna start pushing more content on the channel. So if you haven't subscribed again, please do so and check out other videos that I have on the channel. So there you have it. A74, A7S3 filmmaking setup. See everyone in the next one. Peace.